In this video, we're going to look at the domain and range of a few more advanced uh, parent functions. Remember, in this one, we're just focusing on domain and range. If you need more uh, information on the parent functions themselves, there are other videos that can do that for you. So let's start with the absolute value parent function. Remember the way the absolute value looks with the V. All of the X's are included. There's no X that you can't put in for uh, the value for this function. You can pick negative numbers or positive numbers or zero. So remember what the domain is is simply the set of all X's that you can use in the function. In this case, you can use any real number. You can use positives, negatives, zeros, fractions, decimals, any number you want. And you can look at the graph and tell that by seeing that there are arrows at both ends of the line showing that it just continues on to infinity in both the x toward negative infinity in the x direction or toward positive infinity. And then the range, remember, are the values you can get for y. And if you look at the graph, you realize that y never goes into the negative values. As soon as x reaches negative, then the y value turns back to positive again. Uh, so it cannot be every real number because it never goes down here. It always stays up toward the top. Therefore, y must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, if I want to write this as a, a set notation, I talked about this in the other video, it's the set, and I'm looking at domain here, the domain is the set of all x's, kind of hard to write those brackets, such that x is an element of, that's what the little funny e looks like, all real numbers. And if you want to do the range, y is the set of all y's such that y is an element of the real numbers. But you can't just stop there. And at the same time, y is greater than or equal to 0. We'll close our bracket right here. I already draw the brackets. And if we want to do this in interval notation, I'll do that up here, then the domain goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Remember, we put parentheses here to show that we don't include negative infinity. It's a number you never get to, or positive infinity. And the range starts at 0. Notice that I'm putting a bracket here because we include 0. That's what the bracket tells us, and goes to positive infinity. Notice I'm going to close it with a parenthesis. That's interval notation for the same information. Uh, let's look at the rational parent, 1 over x. This one's a little interesting. Remember, domain are the possible x's. If you look closely at this graph, or if you look at the equation itself, there's only one number that you can't plug in for x, and that's 0. Because division by 0 is undefined in mathematics. Uh, so we can do any number we want. We can say it's all real numbers except x cannot equal 0. What about the range? Again, if you look closely at the range, the only thing you'll never get, the only y value where you never have a value that counts, is also at 0. So you can say it's the set of all real numbers, but it can't include 0 either. So we can say not equal to 0. Again, set notation for this. Make your brackets for the domain. It's a set of all x's such that x is an element of the real numbers, except x not equal to 0. Or you could write this as x is less than 0, comma, x is greater than 0. Same thing with y set of all y's, such that y is an element of the real numbers. I think I made my r very clear up here. Either it's the double bar that makes it real, but y is not equal to 0. And then we could write this in interval notation. Interval notation, a little bit different here. We have to say it's the interval from negative infinity to zero 
notice I'm using parentheses here, union with the interval from 0 to positive infinity. And then if we're going to write the other one, it would be exactly the same thing uh, for the y's from negative infinity to 0 and from 0 to positive infinity. Notice it includes everything, every possible number except 0 itself. This is the exponential growth parent function. Uh, domain for it, what are the x's? Well, you can use any x here. You can raise 2 to any power you'd like, so it's all real numbers. And then the range, you can use any y you'd like, except y has to be what? y has to be bigger than 0. So I don't believe I'm even going to write real here since I'm not doing set notation. I'm just going to say y has to be greater than 0. Notice I didn't include the equal here, because if you remember in the exponential growth and decay function, it approaches 0, but it never quite gets there. Set notation, the main's the same as before, but the difference is y. It's y such that y is an element of the real numbers, where y is greater than 0. And with interval notation, again, I'm just doing the range this time. I'm going to say y is between 0 and positive infinity. Notice I didn't include 0, so I didn't use a bracket there. I used a parenthesis to show that 0 is not included. Uh, the exponential decay is very similar. Again, you have all real numbers for the domain, because there's no number you can't plug in again. And the exact same thing for the range. Y never gets to 0, so Y has to be greater than 0. Set notation, interval notation, exactly as we saw in the previous screen uh, with exponential growth. The last one I want to look at is the logarithmic function. Here's the graph of it. Uh, remember that in the log, 0 is undefined. You never get there. So if you want to do the domain of the log, X never goes over here negative, and X actually never reaches 0, so the X values have to be greater than 0. But what about the range on the log? Just the opposite of exponential. The range on the log function, Y, I don't need to write Y actually, can be any real number. Notice that it's down here, and it's also up here. So Y is both positive and negative, so you can use either one of them. Uh, if I want to write the domain in set notation, set of all x's, such that x is an element of the real numbers, but we have to restrict it a little bit. We have to say x has to be greater than 0. And obviously y would be written like it has been before. Uh, if we want to do the domain as an interval, then again, we don't include 0, but we go all the way to positive infinity, which is never included. It always is a parenthesis. So there's no bracket there if we do that. So that's the domain and range of some uh, common parent functions that you encounter in algebra. Remember that all the domain is, or what are the possible x's we can use, and range, or what are the possible y's we can use. Domain is independent. We choose it. Range is dependent. It's decided for us based on the function. If you'd like to see other videos, uh, other domain and range videos, or just more information about parent functions or other things in algebra, I invite you to go to my web channel, uh, my web page at mymatheducation.com, or subscribe to my YouTube channel at mymatheducation. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you'll come back and watch some more videos.